I think you will see a lot of neutral colours, a lot of camel that feels new, a lot of brownish kind of leather tones. Yeah, there's quite a lot of camel, fair amount of black, deep browns, um, and qu quite autumnal colours, sort of rich wines. There's quite a lot of green in there. I think we will see a little bit of a, uh, a tailored look, a little bit more grown up, but it is in a kind of casual way. It's, it's still easy to wear, it's a little bit of casual chic. There was definitely a romantic mood, but you know, not overly girly. There's always something a little bit sinister behind the romance, so it wasn't just like flowers everywhere or anything. It was very controlled and rigorous. I think we will see different influences from different decades. Uh, a little bit of 80s, the early 80s or late 70s. I also think we'll see a little bit of 90s, a kind of a, a more, a little bit more of a minimalistic or futuristic look. I'd say the 70s, but the chic, chic vibe from the 70s rather than super hippy dippy. Um, I think that that's something that's going to come through very strongly. Well, on the sheer side, there's definitely some lace panelling and things that you're, you know you're definitely having see-through options or cutouts. But in general, they just look very luxury. There's quite a lot of silks. There's a fair amount of velvet. Quite a lot of tweed and fur, fake fur. I think there's a wide range of outwear this season. It's a season for outwear, uh, from you know like the updated trench coat. Uh, we have the cape or the parka. We have uniform inspired styles or just a nice wool coat. So there's a lot of different things to choose from. One trend that is continuing is that we see a lot of knitwear. Knitwear is still big. Uh, we have both the more classic kind of knitwear, you know, the roller neck or the boyfriend's cardigan, but you also see a lot of different yarns, uh, different of pattern knits. Knitwear is a huge story, you know, I think knitwear techniques have been pushed in different ways, you know, so it's not just a jumper, it's, you know, a, a jumper with different um, patchwork techniques and or knitting with ribbon, you know, so a lot of, again, a lot of um, artisanal kind of techniques used, but in used in different ways. I think the typical thing of those, those materials are that they're quite you know, comfy and soft and warm uh, and get a really nice uh, autumn feeling.